What's up everybody, Connor Denman here with another tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about Cocos 2D for the iPhone. Uh, it's a uh, game framework um, that allows you to develop games in Objective-C for the iPhone. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, start up Xcode, create a new project. I'm going to assume that you have Cocos 2D installed and like the templates, the Xcode templates installed. So there's going to be a link in the description so that you can download Cocos 2D if you haven't already. Um, so new project, I am not include, including any uh, physics engine in this uh, tutorial because we don't need it. Uh, so let's jump right into it. To start, uh, the default Cocos 2D project has some code within the hello world layer that's where I am right now that's where we're going to be where we're going to be writing all of our code today so within the .m file they have allocated a label uh, they've uh, grabbed the screen size they set the labels position to the exact center and then they add the label to the uh, display or this scene uh, so if I build and run that we'll see a layout that or excuse me, a label in the center of the screen that says hello world. So let's go ahead and uh, get into what I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, work with sprites a little bit today. And what I've done is uh, I've included a pacman.png file within the resources folder. You can use whatever PNG file you want. Uh, so anyway. Uh, keep go ahead and delete some of that code that was in the uh, init method by default uh, with, within the if statement here which you will need um, I have kept this size uh, variable here because we'll use it and uh, actually I'm going to use that as a as as an instance variable so within the dot h file for the hello world layer we're going to uh, make sure to say that we want CG size and size and so here it is next we're going to define a sprite and go back into the dot H actually and we're going to say CC sprite uh, and call it Pac-Man there we go now back within the dot M file let's go ahead and actually create our sprite so Pac-Man equals and so most of the time, uh, or at least you know, on the Cocos 2D website, they they use uh, these auto-released objects. So to allocate your sprites and whatever other Cocos 2D objects, you're just uh, making a static method call like so: cc sprite sprite with file, and this is a string saying what the file name is. It already is going to look within the resources folder, so you don't have to do anything else there. So it's pacman.ping, and now we're going to actually set the position of our pacman, and it's a CCP object, which actually returns CG point. It's just for Cocos 2D, the, the uh, positioning is a little bit different than standard CG point. And we're going to say uh, size.width, or actually, excuse me. Um, we're going to start our Pac-Man off at x equals 0, which is the far left of the screen, and then uh, size.height divided by 2. So that's going to put our sprite at the far left and like in the middle. And then what you have to always do at this moment in time, uh, our sprite isn't added to this layer, so we have to add it by saying self add child Pac-Man. So if we go ahead and build and run that, we should see our little Pac-Man. There he is. So this particular sprite's huge. You can set the scale of it or uh, the size uh, by s saying Pac-Man.scale. And let's say we want it uh, like 30% the size. Just some number I pulled out of my butt there. Let's see that. And bam, that's much better. That's decent size. Okay, so now we're going to actually we're gonna make the sprite move and how you do that you first have to uh, schedule um, Cocos 2D to call a method every so so many 
uh, you know, every fraction of a second. So you do that by saying self schedule update, or you can say schedule and then pass us a specific selector you want or a function you want to call. But we're going to use schedule update, and that's by default going to call a void. Um, okay, let's see. So schedule update and void update and the uh, parameters cc time uh, and dt for like change in time and then we go back into our dot in and let's actually define that method and there we go so now we have our update and so every every dt change in time we're gonna do. We're gonna move the sprite, and we do that by saying Pacman dot position equals CCP. Uh, and so we're just gonna change the x value here. You could change the y value to whatever you want, uh, but hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call. So anyway, we're just going to be changing the x axis. So the Pacman is gonna move across the screen, and so we'll say Pacman dot position plus um, like whatever value uh, let's say let's say like 80 times DT because DT is going to be a fraction of a second um, so it's if we were to just add DT to the Pac-Man's position.x excuse me I just put dot position we need dot position.x um, it would move extremely slow so 80 times DT is probably a good scale and then we're just going to keep the pacman.position.y. Okay, so now we should see the pacman move across the screen. Build and run again. There we go. So he's moving. And now what you're going to notice is once he goes off the screen, we're not going to see him again. So to make sure that, you know, it's just like an infinite. Uh, thing where he, he, as soon as he ex, exits the screen on the right side, he'll come back on the left side. So let's say if pacman.position.x is greater than or equal to the uh, size.width. So if he's uh, pa past the uh, right side of the window or at the right side of the window, or whoops, we need a bracket there. It's an if statement. And then we're going to say we're going to reset the Pac-Man's position to uh, x equals 0 and keep his uh, position not y. So like that, he should move across the screen and then come back to the left side. Oops. There we go. And... Okay, moving, probably should have made the speed a little bit quicker, so you could go for like 100, but there you go. Uh, he moves across the screen and comes back, exactly what we wanted. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, I do have a blog post on Cocos 2D uh, on my website right now, co uh, connordenman.com. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at connordenman for more updates and once again check the description for links to like Cocos 2D and other cool stuff so thanks for watching